Deuteronomy 5, 9. Lo tishtachave lachem, velo ta'avadem. This verse continues the second commandment, not to make images, and it goes on. You shall not bow down to them, and you shall not serve them. We'll take a look at Tish Dechave. And this is a, a bit tricky, um, whether the root letters are Shin Chet Vav or Chet Vav He. And in the first case, then it might be a Hit Pael. And as you know, the uh, sibilants, like a Shin, and the Tav would invert places in that case, or whether the um, stem is a Hishtapel stem. Uh, difficult to say, and so we don't really need to decide because this word is just a one-off and everything else works just about like it should. So we can see that this is an uh, imperfect 2ms. You shall not bow down. We can take a look at Ta'avadim. Now, the easy part is to notice that the root letters are ayin beit dalit, to serve. The more difficult part is understanding what stem it is. There is no holam here, which is uh, a bit confusing. Um, so that makes it seem like it might not be a kal. What if it's a hofal? And that's exactly what Gazanius asks in section 60b. Is this a hofal, meaning you shall not be caused to serve them. Um, though possible, and it's spelled that way in the different parallels, uh, maybe it has more of the sense of the kal. Uh, but whatever it is, we can see clearly enough that it is an imperfect uh, 2ms with a 3mp pronominal suffix. Namely, you shall not serve them. And it's possible, finally, to think in terms of this as a hendiatus. Namely, this may not be two separate actions, but bowing down may be the way that Israel is forbidden to serve the images.